quantitative ability so we are going to have look at another trick trick 102 so once again we are going back to the uh, factorial thing so we are going to uh, we are looking at the factorial series part 2 so we are having a quantitative ability problem on factorial and we will be solving it with the typical factorial formula so the problem is count the number of zeros in 100 factorial for example if we have 6 factorial so it comes to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 which is equal to 720 so the number of zeros here is 1 so how is that because as you can see 720 contains only one zero so the number of zeros is 1 in a similar fashion how will a person find the number of zeros in 100 factorial any ideas in solving this problem? So, the easiest way of doing this is counting the number of tens in the number. So, for example, if we have 13 factorial, we have 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7, 8, 9, 10 till 13. So, as you can see, this number has 2 tens multiplied with it. That is, we have 1 into 3 into 4 into 6 into 7 into 8 into 11 into 12 into 13 and we have a 5 and a 2 which comes to 10 and we have another 10 separately so these two 10s constitute to two zeros in 13 factorial hmm. so now how will I use this trick to solve the 100 factorial problem let's look at the next slide hmm. now how will I do this for a big number like 100 factorial you know so instead of counting tens the simplest way would be counting the number of fives it's pretty easy you know because the number of if we see 10 can be expressed as 5 into 2 so instead of counting the number of tens we can easily count the number of fives it reduces our problem and in fact it's the trick which you're going to use to solve the problem so our example we will be counting only the number of fives so for example we have uh, 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 which counts for 1 and 5 and, in we all and as we go in a similar fashion we will be having 10 which counts for another 5 15 counts for another 5 20 counts for another 5 but 25 counts for 2 5's so the answer is just divide 100 by 5 plus 100 by 25 so the number of zeros that you get is 24 Okay, so thanks for watching this video. In a similar fashion, try to count the number of zeros that you find in 1000 factorial. The answer is 249. I want you to see how this happens. Thanks for watching this video and post your comments on your answers. Thank you.